Why is it so natural for Americans to just pick up overnight and do a 26 hour drive? Because that's what we did. If you didn't see the last video, I went to my cousin's wedding and then we immediately the next day drove 26 hours overnight to Florida from New York, just me, my sister and my mom. And just for some context, especially having been to 38 countries in the world now, that would be the equivalent of driving from Lisbon to Pula, Croatia, which would mean you're driving through Portugal, you're driving through Spain, you're driving through France, you're driving through Switzerland, Italy, Slovenia, Croatia, 26 hours. And that's the equivalent of us going from New York to Florida. So along the way, we had an amazing time. Panama City, Florida is one of the most beautiful white sand beaches, beautiful blue water in Florida. And then we took out a boat with Freedom Boat Club and reviewing what Freedom Boat Club is, how it works and our experience. And then on top of that, 98% of my viewers do not subscribe. So if you like these videos, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. And let's get into it. The war zone back here. Yep, we're in Florida. That's right. Hey, who's a sunset chaser? I am. Yeah, that's right. Look at that little sunset. Are you a sunset chaser? Huh? Sunset chasing. Better stay down there. Go run around. Yeah. What's up, dog? What's up, baby? Brent! <laughs> Brent, you're gonna get bit. Maybe because it's dying or something. It's not running away from us. And look at his back legs. Yeah. I'm wasting away in Margaritaville. Uh, nice day at the beach. Could get some actual sun for the first time in like a month. Pretty nice here. Pretty nice. Mom, what do you think? Hmm? Hmm? What do you think? What was that? What was that? I don't know. Was that your movie move? Like Over the shoulder. Heading over. What's that? Okay, you gotta walk right there. Yeah, I guess we. Yeah. Go around. I, think I think we have to go around. around. You don't think it matters? Don't matter. So, as you can see, that's Marty over there. He's helping us out here. We got a few of the cobias right here. We're not gonna take out the cobias because the seating arrangement, I prefer it on the hurricane just for four people. But. Uh, if you're doing any fishing or really, I mean, I think a lot of people prefer the center consoles style, particularly out here if you're doing fishing. But for us, we're just kind of tootling around, right? Toodle. What would you, how would you describe it? Toodle, toodle, toodle. Yeah, that's right. Put that on the website. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the, there's like more of a seating range back here where we all can sit and talk as we're moving. And yeah, and then you got the bucket seating here in the front too. I don't know if that was the most <laughs> best thing to do.
him back in. Hit him back in. And I'm gonna give him a text here in about five minutes to let him know that I'm heading back in because it's gonna take us about 20, 20, 30 minutes to get back. And it is 3.30, so we spent probably about four hours in the water here. Not in the car. Is she really not? She's not in the car. <laughs> Where did she go? She opened the door and you just started driving off and the door closed. Wait, say it again how you said it? Yes, yes, she is. They saw her get in the back seat. <laughs> Sorry, Maggie. <laughs> yes, she is. I saw her get in the back I did, seat. I could have sworn she got in the car. She just opened up the door and then you started driving off. Are you going to go get her? Yes. I'm <laughs> she's up by the street. <laughs> I think she sat down. <laughs> Do you need a ride? I swore you got in the car. I said that my bag is inside. Oh. I was like, what are you doing? And she's like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, Maggie's not in the car. She's like, yes, okay. And then she just kept driving, and I and I was like double checked, and I was like, no, she's not in here. I and mom, sitting behind me. And, and then, then I, saw, was, I saw you guys stop, and then you kept then, going, and then you stopped at the stop sign, and then kept going. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, but then I was like, I was like, no, mom, she's seriously not in there. She's like, I saw her get in. <laughs> and I was like, no, seriously, she's not in here. I was standing there with the cat that got left too. <laughs> cat. I saw her get in. <laughs> Nice. Mima, how you doing? So it is the next day. It's actually we chose a good day to go because, um, as you can see, it's a little bit cloudier, a little bit chillier today. So yesterday it was a good to get day to go. At the end, when we brought it back, we went through the checklist again, and then I ended up uh, paying I think thirty five dollars for gas. But um, it was good. Well, first off. When you go, like you see the rental boats around a lot, particularly where we went because um, I don't know the area that well. So uh, I just went and followed the rental boats essentially to see where they went. You see the boats and they have 20 horsepower, 50 horsepower pontoon boats. And the boat that we got was had 62 hours on it. Brand new boat with 150 horsepower mercury on it. I mean, to be able to take that out and then, you know, just pay the, the gas, $35, in a completely different state you know today it's not that beautiful but also it's the end of october like it's almost november right now and it was 80 degrees yesterday sunny if you have any questions uh feel free to drop it in the comments and maybe we can get them answered we got some yep there we go background background answer how was your experience with the reciprocal reservation mom it was excellent yeah thank you anything else to say for other people well it makes me want to get a membership so that I could make use of boats in different areas because I love to be on the water. Yeah, that's good. What about you, Maggie? What'd you say? <laughs> and now I'm doing what every red-blooded American would do. Grilling. It's actually smoking. It's smoking some pork. That's the team. We, we've assembled the team. What are we doing here? Let me out of here. <laughs> Any red blooded American knows what the I'm doing right now. <laughs> here we got the uh, the pork butt with some mustard and uh, I don't even know what rub that bone is. Bone sucking bone sauce. Bone sucking sauce. <laughs> Down here in the south. We got slap your mama and bone sucking sauce. <laughs> Those are the Double wrap it. We only have really have six hours to smoke it, so we're gonna smoke this thing at 2.30 for six hours. We'd like to do 10, but we started at 2 p.m., so. Procrastinators. Yeah, we've <laughs> got seashells. <laughs> so we can see here that the temperature is 100 right here. So kind of where we want to be, actually. It was a little bit cold, but let's see what it looks like when we open it up now. Okay, yeah, it's certainly good. 
we get there. Okay. It's not that it's not as black as I expected, but um, that could also be the way we rubbed it. So it's getting there though. It's juicy. It's juicy right there. That's good. That's a good sign. The bone's already. We'll try to pull it out. Yes, that's a good sign. <laughs> good sign. <laughs> so you just arrived in Charlotte. Charlotte. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying. Let's go.